Ah. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Feel Bad Friday. We've been on a little hiatus. Uh, why? Because reasons. Uh, let's jump right into it, though. I'll talk about why later. Uh, and start on the level this week, E47A, by who else but Neil Krucko. Oh, gosh. I'm going to pause. Okay, I'm going to pause for a moment. Uh, as is Neil Krucko's uh, agenda, clearly you die right away in this level. Um, there's a whole bunch of missiles, a whole bunch of switches, a whole bunch of stars. So let's get going and try to survive. My goal is to make it to the end of the level, uh, level B, E47A, wonderful title, as always. Uh, make it to the end of the level alive. Yes. And not only alive, but, oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm, am I stuck in here? Oh, I am stuck in here. Oh, I should probably get down there and flip that switch. So I took a peek at this level earlier, an earlier version. It had a little bug in it, but Neil Crocker was able to fix it. So the level works, or rather, the game had a bug in it. Da, 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 da. In any case, Neil Crocker fixed it, and I'm excited to test it out. So that didn't work. I got to restart. So I want to get down here. Oh, oh. Flip a switch. Okay. So the red switch is going to go soon. So these missiles, these bullets are flying along. Oh, no, that will kill me. Uh, not only do they hit me and destroy me and destroy maybe some blocks that they might hit along the way, uh, but they also have a tendency to flip the switches that they might hit. So you'll notice, pause it, uh, over here... This missile is firing down, hitting all these blocks one by one. They disappear until the red switch is flipped, at which time these walls all appear. Okay. Now, the game itself is based on electromagnetism. So the uh, Shocktopus here, let me get this star. Hang out for just a sec. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. Electromagnetism, the electric Shocktopus can charge himself positively. When I press a button. Uh, and that means he'll act like a positive charge, so he'll get... Oh, now I'm stuck. That was all for naught. All right, restart. Yeah, so he can flip himself... Hello. Flip himself positive. Hello. Uh, I think this is going to take quite a few deaths. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is a level that will require some practice. As all levels tend to. Okay. It's just like that. Just like that. No... So I've got to time it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can time it. I got to watch when the thing's about to happen, and then make sure to go there then. Whew. It's a difficult game, as you can see. Uh, I'm the developer of the game. I made this thing. Uh, I did not make this level. Get in there. Get in there. Yes. Oh. Oh. Too far. I did not make this level because uh, there's a level editor in it. The players can make levels. Neil Krucko being one of the awesome dedicated committed players who's around uh, hanging out Hello. What, what is it I ooh. made this level so I have not ooh, beaten the level I'm not entirely sure how the level wholly works uh, so you are discovering it along with me and it's kind of fun to make a game and okay okay when you make a game, you know all the levels in it. You understand how everything works, how everything's supposed to work. Bah, 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 bah. You're not really uh, shocked by things that go on. But when you make the game, or when somebody else makes the level, you can discover all those tricks. Oh, 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 okay. They can't discover yourself. Okay, so I'm the shocked bus here. I got one of the stars, I think. I got that one. Did I get it? Yes. Let me go into the other view. Uh, then I need to get up and over and through and down to get that star. And then I go up and over and up and over and down and over and up and there to get that star. Which let's, I mean, let's just go for it. What could go wrong? I think I'm going to survive. So this is one of the tricks that exists in the game. You can go off the screen in the top, uh, but you've got to be really careful, obviously. So let's see, fire, 
fire, fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's all these missiles off screen that I can't see, but want to hit me. No. For a second. So the other thing that I've been working on that's been taking up my time, and the reason I haven't hello, made a feel back feel bad. Oh no, oh no. Feel bad Friday in a couple weeks. Or in a gosh. It's probably been a while. You can go back and look at it. It's been over a month at least. Uh, that much I know. And uh, is because I've been going whole hog in on working on the gravity simulator. So that is a project that's Gosh, one of my first ones, in fact, that's been slowly developing over time. Oh, oh, ah. uh, And improving and changing based on what features people want in their gravity simulator. Uh, so I went through and gave it a big and much needed. Oh, gosh, that's going to be tough. Oh, OK. Wait, why do I need to go up and over? Can I just get that star there? Oh no, that blocks. Okay, the red blocks that. Okay. Speaking of death. Uh, yeah, so I made some big changes to the gravity simulator, just kind of making things look better, making things run better, uh, making, giving it more features uh, that people have requested. So things like um, being able to quickly save and load states, um, being able to, like one of the things I'm excited about is you can add in, oh no. Yes. Oh. oh, so close. Am I only at 36 deaths? Man, it feels like so many more. Uh, so one thing you can do is easily add in things like planetary disks or circles of planets or asteroids or circles or lines of asteroids and planets and things. Uh, so you can kind of set up geometries really easily without having to use a whole bunch of code to like load in each individual one in a given spot. Uh, because a lot of times the thing you want to set up is something like neat and symmetrical looking. Uh, so I figured to make it easy, as easy as possible to do that and share those things. Because um, that's one of the things I've discovered in making like the images of the day. Uh, which is what I like to post on Twitter. Oh, whoa. Man, that's, that's close. That's what I like to post on Twitter. And I try to do it daily. That was another one, just like Feel Bad Friday, though, that I held off. Because I just really needed to get some good work done on the simulator. Boom. Oh, jeez, I need to get that so perfect. Okay, maybe I'll hold off on that star for now. Okay. Star, da, 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 da. Whoa. <laughs> yes, just made it. Just slipped through. Whoa. That's one of the twists in the game. Oh no, I'm gonna skip it. Forget it. For now. Cause something tells me I'll probably die. So how do I get over this? So uh, these arrows kind of spin around telling me what I'm gonna do. So I get spun not up. But if I jump away, but if I jump that way, hmm. Oh, okay. So if I jump to the side, it'll throw me up? Is that... What? Oh, the arrows are spinning backwards. Oh, it's a weird bug. Oh, Unity. How I love the... This is not one of the ways. Uh, okay. <laughs> so the magnetic field spin. Uh, there was a delightful bug with the particle effects of which uh, those spinning arrows are in the last... Uh, update. Make it through, make it through now. Update to Unity. So, gotta keep an eye on that. And there's other changes like you in the gravity simulator, getting back to that, uh, that you can low, uh, change the colors to be whatever you want. So, last in the original or in the previous update, uh, it had like eight colors and that was it. You just had those eight. And now you can have, well, you can have 
as many as you want and you can change them to be whatever colors you want like change their hex codes and stuff um, and you can change the background color you can change the orbit colors you know the trail colors independently of the object colors you can mod it you can add in images so instead of just having the circle planets going around uh, or the like potato shaped asteroids going around you could change them to be whatever you want so it's got uh, different skins in their image skins so some of them are realistic so it looks like real planets or it looks like a real sun or it looks like uh, well make it through looks like real asteroids and some some are just more you know there's like one that looks really geometric so you got like squares and triangles and others you know line drawing so it's a little more you know abstract uh, what's happening uh, or you can make your own so it's totally moddable so if you have image files or you want to tweak the image files or you want like to draw your favorite planet from you know something uh, and add it in you can totally do that you can make it your face you can make it whatever you want and the images in the game you can reskin them so they'll look like uh, whatever you want it to look like okay so let me focus yes okay Yeah, run across that because that's easier. Oh man. Fire. Jump. A little jump rope going on. Thankfully, I get more than one jump rope. Uh, feel bad, Friday joke. Timing. It's all in the timing. I always just make it and then like, I escape from one perilous situation and then another perilous situation gets me. Like lets me think I've got it under control and then it tells me, no, you do not have it under control. Uh, getting that star is going to be terrible. <gasps> Alright. Like, maybe if I do that. So if I do that, because this... Actually, it should let me spin up, shouldn't it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was easy. Look at that. Let me just spin up, because... Oh, I can't do it from the top, though, because the field's too weak. It's a magnetic field, and I'm a charge, and if... Uh, I'm going up that wire with the electric charges flowing the way they are as we all know from the video I made a couple months ago da -da. boom 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 yes so here we go Sometimes it's so easy and sometimes it is so hard. Okay. Yes, so if, if I do it from like the bottom, what was it here? And then from like here. This is easier because there's no spikes. Nice. Okay, don't die in this easy spot. Oh, I should probably move my, move my face. Here's a spot that we don't need to see. The death counter. We'll leave it to be a mystery. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep myself over a little bit. Didi. Oh wait, now you can't see that. I'll be over. Yeah. Boop. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna go down here and get the star and flip a switch, and life will be good. Blue switch. Oh. Nope. 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 Careful. I like that. There's this. Uh, <laughs> heat seeking missile uh, up here that it just you know can't get me but it should just intimidate the heck out of me as it fires brazenly into the wall wait a minute what so I flipped the switch it's on blue flipped uh, 
And then white, that's white. White flipped. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So it's one of those irreversible switches. Let me get my finger off my face. Irreversible switches. Uh, I can handle that though. Oh, cool. Okay, here we go. Nope. Gonna get that. Gonna flip that switch, which indeed flips that. That's good. Doesn't matter what I do with that, right? Cool. Here we go. Yes. Okay, okay. Oh gosh, this is the point in the game where I become really risk averse. So most of the way through the level, or maybe not most of the way. Uh, I still need to get that star, so I've got two stars down. The exit, by the way, in case you haven't played the Electric Choctopus before, is right here. And if you haven't played the Electric Choctopus before, uh, I don't know who you are and why you are watching this, uh, but I guess I'm glad you're watching it, but encourage you to... Whoa. Oh, cool. Charge. I encourage you to go play it. It is out, and in fact, I'll say it now when I'm trying to focus really hard. There's big news. Uh, which if you're a follower in the test two games forums, you've heard in the past. Oh, wait, can I not get up there now? Wait, I can't get up there. Oh, you gated it. So like, well, maybe not on purpose. I don't know. But I, so I need to get that star first because now I can't reach now that that little uh, thing is gone. But the switch opened up. So let's see what happens. I flipped the switch. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, you worked. It worked. You did it. Okay, so I flipped the switch. It does something uh, where it like, plays with the exact rules of the game. Because the rules of the game are when a wall appears, boom. It, uh, you know, if it appears on the electric octopus and you're behind it, kind of like right now, though my head is in front of everything, they might want to see. The electric octopus is kind of stuck back here, but can make it through any like colored walls, right? It's as if like you appeared there, then you need to just get out of it. Uh, and then boom, you can't go back in because there's a wall there now. So in the past it killed you, that was a little too draconian. So now it's just like, you're there, you might fall through it, and that's what's happening over with the green switch. Okay, so you fall through, and as long as I stay in that section, I'm gonna make it through to what I need to make it through, to white's open then, so I'll be able to fall right down there. Awesome, okay. Oh, I love it when players figure out how to kind of, I don't know, bend the rules. It's not, I mean, it was on purpose. Uh, so they're just kind of playing with the rules that exist and noticing exactly how they work. Because uh, there's always a loophole. Uh, you know, when I want something to work one way, when it works that way, uh, there's some, some little twist to it. Okay, so here we go. I know I need to get the... Oh man, this is fun. Okay, alright, here we go. I'm glad I'm getting back into this uh, Feel Bad Friday thing. I will encourage you all to make levels if you haven't yet uh, and share them because they don't need to be this difficult or this complex. Uh, we've got quite a few level crafters that uh, that do it. They make some difficult levels. They make some complex levels. They make some really thought out levels. Uh, and you can make a level you want to make and uh, one that you think is fun. It doesn't need to be like this. Uh, it can be whatever style you make it in. Maybe it's aesthetically cool or maybe it's just kind of fun for you or maybe you just want to see me play your level i want to play it i want to see what types of levels people are making um so send it along and then we can do it next time on feel bad friday i could be optimistic and say next week hopefully that will be the case uh, yes fire yes fire down here i'm down here I think I can make it over here in time. Yes, good. And the red switch doesn't matter to me. Wait, oh, I got the star. Yeah, that's all I wanted. Cannot flip the red switch. Almost can make it back. There we go. Okay, now all I need to do is simply reverse what I just did. How hard is that? Okay. <laughs> it is exactly what I just did. 
Okay. There we go. Fire. Fire. Okay, this way is a little bit easier though, because I can just go for it. I can gun it. So, fire. Yes! Yes, I got the second star. <sighs> okay, hide out here for a second. Fire. Yes. Yes. Oh. Ha. Whew. Man. Sometimes I risk it a little too much. Here we go. Nope, nope. Okay, okay. Flip that switch. White gets flipped. <clears throat> oh, here we go. I got three stars. I'm nowhere near the exit. Let's do this thing. Fire, fire, good. And this, I can just jump. This, I've got the charge there. I can make it over. Fire, pew. All right, this, I'm gonna fall straight down once I flip this green switch. I can stand on it, no reason. I don't need to fear. Don't need to fear it. It'll happen. It'll happen. Fall straight down, love the glitch. Wait. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh no, that didn't work. I'm stuck. I'm trapped forever. Oh, I gotta really, I gotta fall straight down. Okay. For a second, I thought it was too, too easy. Why would I think that this would be easy? I should have known better. Oh, but I got this. Got this. I need to use a oh, wow. The force of a wire on a moving charge. Yes, to make it through. Fire. 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 Okay. Fire. Man, I'm getting so focused. Like, I want to keep talking and bantering, but it is just... Whew! Sweating bullets here. All right, I know if I don't focus. Boom. Here's the moment. So I'm going to fall, and I need to clear it just to the bottom. The bottom part, I don't think the bullets matter. Except for the fact that there is a missile down there, heat-seeking missile that would hit me. All right, three. Yes, yes. Okay, hide from the missile. Move my face over here. Actually, that's a good spot to have it. Nothing really matters there. Oh, boom! It's just now some jumps. Just some jumps and making it past missiles. Okay, okay. Oh, huh. Okay, whoa, Jesus. Yes. Jump. Oh, thank for making thank you for making it not crazy difficult here at the end. And yes. Woo! Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. And move it. Inconceivable. Alright. Made it through. Three stars. Neil Krapko. Great level. Uh, I forget what the name was, but E7 something. It's got a text thing going on. Um, but awesome level. Thank you for sharing it. Uh, the big news I didn't get to because I was so like you know, biting my nails while playing this level is the electric shocktopus as of a couple of weeks ago made it through steam green light So it was up on the uh, 
up on Steam Greenlight to get onto Steam if you're familiar with that. It's a platform where you can sell games. Uh, and it made it through. So in the next little chunk of time, I'm going to you know, make some tweaks. Got to fix that magnetic bug. Uh, mix the thing in so I can uh, you know, mix in the Steam stuff so it works with their system uh, so we can sell it there. But it'll soon be up on that storefront. So I'm really excited to announce that. It's going to be up on Steam. Uh, date to be announced. Uh, I've got to sort out the details of that. Hopefully you'll see more players, more levels, uh, and more Feel Bad Fridays. So catch you all next time. Do, 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 do.